Hi everyone, this is Sagar Shah and I'm here with my very good friend Sohan Fadke uh, and we are going to start something very interesting from tomorrow onwards. Yes. <laughs> and you know, this idea took place in my head somewhere around uh, 2013. You know, this was like six years ago. <laughs> uh, I don't even... I had not even thought about Chess Base India or anything at that point or that we would be recording this right now. But Sohan uh, used to be one of my roommates and we travelled extensively to so many... 2008 to 2013, I think. Yes, we, we've travelled to different countries, we've played in different tournaments. And in one of the tournaments, he was showing me some of his <laughs> attacking ideas. Yeah. And... and uh, I was extremely impressed. For example, he had all these Marathi terms for the <laughs> for the themes like dragging the king out, which he would call as the Khechne theme, <laughs> or, or uh, opening the window slide. And there were so many different uh, themes that he had prepared on his own. And uh, at that point, I said, so on, at some point, we should be making uh, some kind of yes. a book. Right, or right, a video. Right. Yeah, yeah, you definitely told me that you should uh, have named so many nice ideas. Maybe you can make something interesting stuff out of that. Yeah, and, and well, the time has come and Sohan has agreed to make a series of five videos where he would be teaching his attacking theme. Uh, and this will be happening every Monday. Yes, this uh, every Monday looks like so after Sunday relaxing. Monday, this time to learn chess, yeah. So every Monday morning at 8 a.m. on our Chess Base India YouTube channel, you would be able to learn from Sohan. And these will be videos recorded on different themes of attack. Yes, yes. And what are the themes that we would be covering? Oh, well, that's a little surprise for you. So watch out for the Monday, yeah. <laughs> well, surely. And, and just so that you guys understand what a crazy attacker he is uh, I, I have selected one of Sohan's best games uh, this this was in 2006 yes, yes. Uh, and this is almost 13 years ago and Sohan as always uh, loves to play the uh, e4 yeah like yeah, yeah. fish big Fisher fan yes <laughs> devotee of Fisher maybe <laughs> And bishop c4, you are already looking for an attack. Yes, basically, uh, the idea of bishop c4 is to develop pieces quickly. In general, other Nashdorf people play f3, then f4. Basically, it is mainly about piece play in Sozin uh, Nashdorf. Then, it, that's why, I think, basically, in the main Nashdorf theme is to play e5 from black. So, bishop c4 restricts this e5 idea. He has to play the Skavenikan structure. Mm -hmm. So, this is one more advantage about Sozin. So, when the bishop is here, it's looking down this diagonal. Mm. Black cannot go e5 easily. Yes. Okay. Uh, queen f3, queen b6. This is, uh, that time, it was a 2006 game. We hardly had a laptop. And that was... Uh, Solo core professor, uh, processor. <laughs> so we have now, I don't know, Octa and all these things. It was a solo processor. So engines at all, no use. Only it was used for a database. Right. So, so not many, uh, you know, here you can see that black was not playing the best moves. No, queen b7 is theory. This is theory? Yes, yes, yes. This okay. is theory. I mean, queen b6, queen b7 is lying. Okay. And now you castle. castle. Yeah. Knight d7. Yeah. The key one. This is all theory that time. And uh, knight c5. And now uh, I made a very interesting choice. I think it's dubious. But you can see how crazy I was that time to get the attacking position. And uh, I was a little bit uh, in that attacking mood that time. See, the main thing, the move I played in the game, for that move to play, you need uh, the mood for attack. Because of, if you look, start to look objectively, you will definitely not play that move. So, you need the mood for attack, yes. you need the courage, and, and you, you need to have very less value for material. <laughs> no, no, that is not, uh, that is partially right. But you need to have the guts and basically the mood, because even if things go wrong, if your mood is good, you will somehow try to convince yourself still we can fight and you can get compensation out of it. Sure. So you played bishop d5. Yes. And he must take it. Yes. And after... E D5, yeah. And now the thing is I got a good C6 square. 
Bishop G5 hops and Bishop C5 is like uh, coming, Bishop G5 is coming. Thanks to my rook. Basically, I am trying to debate that my development is better than uh, black structural advance because A6 B5 is always considered better than A2 B2 C2. But uh, I say, okay, you have the structure, I, I go for peace play. Okay, actually, this is a little bit too much, but okay, it worked for me. And uh, we, we are not going to delve too much in depth of yes. analysis of this game, but it is amazing to see how this journey of the king from E8 <laughs> is going to begin now and go all the way up to A2. <laughs> you know, it's going to end up over there. So let's enjoy. King D8, check, king comes up, and of course, you take yeah, this take. guy, take. <clears throat> And knight to a5. I think the queen has to, has to go, yeah. This okay. is, yeah. <laughs> this is more of the spirit of the uh, Kaspar Otopalov game. If you can, if the viewers will definitely know the gem of that game. I was inspired that that and then I got uh, some, see, that's why these attacking principles, if you know them in a proper manner, they definitely help you during the course of the game. They guide you, they give you hints. Sure. So here, knight sack. And then the pawn coming up. I, I was thinking that you could directly sack this pawn, but you you sacrificed a knight before. Yes, yes, because king b6 and knight b5 is also possible. But again, a human move is knight b5. Maybe I don't know what comes. Because it comes with a check. Yes, and uh, as far as possible, a clear picture. Yeah. Sure. And now we play <laughs> check, and okay. he had to take. So now king is there are no more checks. Actually, very much easy, but. Yeah, but uh, now we just need uh, someone to check on a3. Yeah, and you bring your the first rook. rook. He stopped it. He stopped rook a3. And here it could have been easy to think that, okay, the attack is failing, but okay, it's... a3, yes. Bringing a, a new piece into yes, the attack. You yes. don't always need a piece. A pawn is also good. Yes, yes, yes. Bishop e6. Actually, bishop e6 stops rook b3. Uh-huh. Take check. If you take with the pawn, is rookie five is mate here. This is really bad. So he played king takes c3, oh. queen b5, and now c4. Idea is just queen b3 mate now. This is a mate, and so he went rook b8, and the final. Uh, yeah, I would like the viewers to think about this one. Not so difficult. White to play and finish off the game. And there you go. <laughs> so the pleasure of playing such game is just amazing. Yeah. You forget about the objectivity and how chess can be beautiful. Eh? Well, the last move was here and rook a3 and he resigned uh, the game. So and this was tremendous game uh, to checkmate your opponent's king on a2 <laughs> with all his pieces still lying on yeah. their initial squares is splendid. Yeah. And, and over the years I have seen him playing many such aggressive attacking games uh, there were some times when you would attack and of course it would misfire but there were many games where it worked out brilliantly and so I'm, I'm excited that people will get to learn some attacking themes from you uh, any any words of advice like on Monday at 8 a.m. when they sit to watch your videos how should they go about looking at them well, I have no idea, but basically I will try to make them, I mean, as uh, I've made these notes a little bit colorful and added some natural flavor to make things interesting. So I hope they will enjoy and uh, if possible, they will try to learn something. I mean, the budding players, the young players will definitely get some uh, hints or guidelines yep. and the rest, uh, passionate uh, or hobby players or any players who love the art of attack, they will definitely enjoy yeah, I think in this uh, sort of era where we constantly keep looking at computers or analyze with engines, these attacking games will be refreshing. Uh, so, so and we look forward to it. And thank yes. you for coming to the Chess Base India yeah, office. It's my pleasure. Thank in you. Mumbai. Yeah, thank you.